improve the air quality in your home and reduce your utility bills dramatically all by doing one thing. And you might be thinking, well, Josh, you're just trying to sell an air cleaner or some sort of heating and air product. Nope. In this video, we're gonna talk about encapsulating your crawl space. And this is something that we are now doing at Griffin Air. It's something that we just started doing very recently, and that is because we were actually approached by multiple customers saying, hey, there's no one good in your area. There's a lot of companies that are cutting corners, and it's something that we're gonna be doing the right way. We're gonna be doing proper crawl space encapsulation. So if you happen to be in Griffin Air's coverage area, We'd love to earn your business and give you a free estimate for doing a proper crawl space encapsulation. So one thing I've learned since we started getting in all this is not all of them are created equal. Do you a little bit of homework and make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. If you're not sure, look into it more, look into the practices that the company's doing and are they actually putting the encapsulation that's airtight up the sides of the walls and so on. But we'll get off of that. In this video, I wanna give you eight reasons why you should consider encapsulating your crawl space. And this is something that in the last few years is becoming more of a thing. When I was a kid, no one did this. It wasn't really something that folks did. But as time has gone on and people have become more aware of the things that they're breathing, how unsafe a lot of the indoor air that we're breathing is, and folks are looking for ways to improve that. And obviously, as we already talked about, save energy on their utility bill. We're gonna go through these eight reasons why you should consider encapsulating encapsulating your crawl space by us here at Griffin Air or your local company that does crawl space encapsulations. Number one, we already talked about it, improve the air quality in your home. A lot of folks don't realize that 50 to 60% of the air you breathe comes from your crawl space. And I've actually approached homeowners before and said, hey, your crawl space is in really bad shape. It's like a swamp under there. It's a cesspool. You're at very high risk of things like mold growing and things like that. And a lot of homeowners will be like, oh yeah, it's horrible under there. It's like they know that it's really bad under there, but they just don't realize how bad that actually affects the air they're breathing in their home. They almost kind of think of it as a separate part. It's something separate from them, almost like they think about outside of their home. But unlike the walls of your home where folks build it with materials to keep storms out, rain, snow, all that stuff, a lot of homes, the flooring only consists of the flooring itself, the subfloor, and then your floor joists and some insulation. There's not really any materials really separating you airtight from that cesspool or that horrible crawl space that you may or may not be aware of. Number two, eliminate pest invasions. A lot of folks, when they encapsulate their crawl space, inhibit pests from coming into their home dramatically. So things like spiders and bugs and all these things that are getting into your home, by encapsulating your crawl, not only is it airtight, but it's also pest tight. So you're keeping out a lot of those pests that are making it into your home. They never even make it to your home because they never make it to the crawl space. And that kind of gets back to what I was saying a moment ago, because a lot of companies are cutting corners by maybe they just put the plastic down and just do the foam board on the sides, or they do the spray foam, or whatever technique they're using, but they're not actually creating that barrier all the way around sealing everything to keep those pests out. Number three, avoiding mold and mildew, wood rot, things like that. When you're encapsulating your crawl space, you're now giving those floor joists, the subfloor, and all of that stuff that was almost sitting in those elements, exposed to those elements, if you will. Now you're treating that crawl space as a whole nother room. You're keeping those elements out and you're protecting your investment, your home from the wood rot and things like that that could develop in your crawl space. Number four, improve your home efficiency. And we've talked about it a little bit with your utility bills, which we're gonna talk about in just a second but just your overall health of your home. Homes are constantly being abused, if you will. Abused by outside elements, the roof and your walls are all meant to keep that stuff out and protect everything inside of that space and keep it out, protect it from that abuse. But your crawl space, again, there's not a lot of barrier there. Your home itself, a lot of times, is being abused from the inside out, if you will. Especially you guys that if you do have standing water or some sort of leaking water getting into your crawl space, 
You need to eliminate that problem first and do something about it. Do something to keep that water out. Or if you're really having a hard time keeping the water out, then doing something about it once it gets in there. So having some sort of drainage system installed and some sort of pump or something to get that out of there. And that way, when you encapsulate the crawl space, you are extra protecting your home at that point. And of course, number five, studies have shown that encapsulating your crawl space can reduce utility bills 15 to 20% annual use usage. And so just encapsulating your crawl can a lot of times pay for itself and then some, especially when you're dealing with those high utility bills and a crawl space that is affecting how comfortable your home is. Number six, increase your home value. This is something, again, a lot of folks have not considered, but over the years, a lot of markets, it makes the home more valuable. And in some markets, they are actually requiring it now. So a lot of building inspectors and home inspectors, and they are now requiring it in some situations that the crawl space in your home be encapsulated right from the get-go when they build the home. Number seven, improving structural integrity. And this kind of gets back to what I was saying a moment ago. We've seen some crazy situations where you've got floors buckling and things needing to be jacked up and different types of situations where houses maybe could have been built better or just the crawl space itself has really put that home at risk, creating an issue where there might be some sinking flooring or some walls or just the weight of everything. And now because of that that constant abuse it's been getting from a humid crawl space or mold or wood rot, now you've got an, the integrity of the house was at risk. So when you encapsulate that crawl space, you are protecting that structural integrity. And then finally, number eight, better humidity control for better comfort. And the humidity control, at bare minimum, you're trying to inhibit those things like mold and mildew and things like that, but you're also improving the quality of your comfort. I've said it before, 72 degrees in one home versus 72 degrees degrees in another home don't feel the same because of the humidity levels. So high humidity can make you feel warmer, lower humidity making you feel colder. And of course you got things like if you have high humidity, you could feel clamminess and things like that. Improving the humidity control can dramatically improve your comfort in your home as well. And that's why I'll see folks that they don't actually encapsulate the crawl properly, but they'll do things like just shut off their foundation vents or seal up their foundation vent, but never install a dehumidifier or condition the air in their crawl space when they've now done that, not realizing they're putting themselves at risk for mold growth and humidity and all of the things that are problematic when you do things like that. So there's a reason why those foundation vents were originally installed on your home. So just simply closing them is not the same thing as a properly climate controlled encapsulated crawl space. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you're in our coverage area in Griffin Air, give us a call. We'll give you a free estimate. But if you're not in our coverage area, definitely do some hunting around. I would recommend getting a few opinions and quotes and find who best helps you with these eight things we just went over. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.